Hello guys. My name is One Punch. I'll go. I'm trying to show you guys um, some of the pre-market gainers that happened today. Um, I'm checking uh, it with my software called One Punch Algo. Um, so and this is how they are. I have created a, a list uh, or a screener, pre-market screener. So all, all these 13 stocks in here are the top gainers for today. And uh, today, even though it seems a green market, pre-market, at the end of the day, all these end up uh, going down so it's kind of like a short short of paradise all right guys uh, let's go through the screener pre-market screener here let me share my entire screen so i have three columns open uh, actually three charts open first chart is uh, about uh, chart um, uh, oh, hold on. Sorry, I'm assuming everyone um, knows about candlestick chart and what are candlesticks. Um, so, for beginners, this is kind of not a beginner level um, market recap. So, you guys need to like learn what is uh, 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 what is the candlestick chart is. So, normally you guys get a line chart like that, uh, and you can pick all these. Um, different charts so we I go with candlesticks so that's where my stock um, trading um, algo plugin is installed so that gives me all those uh, buying and selling uh, points so before I talk too much about those stuff let's go and um, let, let's go and show all these uh, uh, things you can see in this uh, display all right, so the first um, column or the chart is under one minute and then the second chart is under five minutes and then the third chart is under 30 minutes uh, why do i use uh, three charts because for day traders uh, it's good to use one minute and uh, five minutes one minute uh, you can see where the market is trending um, and in five minutes you can see um, actually when to sell and just leave as it is and in 30 minutes you can uh, uh, tell where like if you're only doing like one uh, sell at a time on the day then 30 minutes works really good but one and uh, five minutes works for a, a good volatile stocks but today these stocks uh, are good for short selling uh, because everything that opens went down so much All right, let's dig in IPDN uh, market open price so let me take five minute chart and then I'm gonna zoom into five minute chart alone so in here it says uh, mark pre-market open price is around one dollar and 66 cents so let's see uh, today's 24 pre-market opened which is around four however it seems like Something is not right with IPDN. Um, IPDN was it in the OTC couple of weeks? Because as you can see, the date here, when I hover over the previous day, it shows me November uh, 2019. There's something wrong with the uh, the stock. So I'm moving. Uh, forward with the different stock but i will show you 
and tell you in here what are these yellow color bars are and uh, how it affect so normally when I'm trading in a normal stock market environment without any kind of um, uh, strategies or plugins I can see something like this right so all these shows like green bars each of this this bus represent what we pick here and you have to like find out um, your gut feeling or the momentum the volume or something like that to, like decide is it going up or is it going down so basically the software that i built uh, gives you when it's going to turn down or when it's going to turn up so in this case uh, i will just share with you guys when it went down or when it tells it's going down uh, correctly so let's do a replay market replay today in the morning it looks like this i'm, I'm gonna start the replay slowly all right play let's see all right so market opened and it has been 117 percent up all right guys it was bothering for me and i took like one minute uh, research time uh, i paused the video and then went to google and search what happened to ipdn uh, because it's showing me different numbers here and Google gave me the answer here it shows diversity job search platform search 195% after months long hold so basically IPDN has been on hold for a month and that's why it's uh, acting weird so <clears throat> let's go with it and um, let's talk about how a short seller can sell this stock at the right time today because it's a short seller's day all right um now i'm replaying all right uh, first it came it gave you a, like a year uh, greenish yellow bar right so it doesn't mean anything at the beginning but the next bar um gave like a red color so it's a concerning thing after a yellow when it becomes a red it's concerning so you're gonna watch what's happening on the third bar it gave a green bar so again we are back in the game i'm not gonna sell at this point i'm just watching what's going to happen on the fourth bar after the uh, market open all right all right it gave me a nice green bar which is uh, much puffier than the red here and uh, this bar is puffier than the uh, red bar so it's a go so if you are gonna like uh, buy more this point you can buy more here um, but for the sellers you shouldn't uh, or worry about selling the stock right now let's see let's go ahead um, all right so the next stock uh, next candlestick bar which is for five minutes gave me another red the next one gave me another uh, green, greenish yellow bar and then the next another greenish yellow bar here and then another one it pop up as green but end up again a greenish yellow bar so right now when I say this is a good time to buy it has gone up 70% within 20 minutes right so is it the right time to sell did it give the highest point that's the question right now uh, I'm asking that question because I see here um, sorry I see here volume is gonna is dropping in terms of oh my God. in terms of um, the volume it shows a red bar here so that means people are selling at this point 
um, but I want to see what's gonna happen in the next uh, five minutes so I'm gonna move forward with that all right now this is the concerning part after a greenish yellow bar the next five minutes it gave a reddish yellow bar so at this point I'm gonna sell um, this stock and uh, if you are a back holder you you can sell this at this point and if you are a um, uh, short seller you can short sell at this point let's go ahead and check what happened in the next couple of minutes all right it's going down and down 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 further down all right there are a couple of greenish bars but none of them gave me any uh, valid reason or a good puff fish bar to like buy again after a, a reddish yellow bar uh, if I were to buy after a reddish yellow bar, it has to be a um, greenish yellow bar again. But none of them gave me anything like that. Alright, so I'm gonna speed the process. Um, Alright, so at this point, market is open here. Um, from here, where I've, I mentioned when I see the reddish yellow bar. I talked to you about selling it so if you short sell it or if you sell it you could have made 24% um, uh, and um, those who like hold on to it after buying at this point you could uh, you could only make 23% instead you could have made 64% all right so that's basically what IPDN did today for short sellers is a sweet day with the IPDN. It ended up um, going down 34% for the day, so which is again a short selling stock. Let's go with um, CTIB. CTIB. Uh, we can do a couple of um, information here, right? All right. So you can see there are a couple of reddish bars, uh, reddish yellow bars, and red, uh, greenish yellow bars here, and then there are another one in this area, and then there are another in this area. So, all right. So when do I sell? Let's go and do some replays with yesterday at 335, right? Alright, so first let's get into the morning. Morning open price is around um what's the price? Actually, this is still yesterday's post market. So I need to get to the pre-market for today um, at four o'clock. So let's go ahead. Mm. You know what? I can actually show that too. It's okay. It's fine. Let's go ahead. All right. So you have a yellow, red, uh, greenish yellow bar here. The next one. It is a green bar again, not the time to sell yet. All right, now there's a concerning bar, uh, reddish bar. Let's see, let's see how concerned it is. All right, all right, so that entire bar for five minutes is giving me 17% vol volatility. So why does this, why it is important for us to have like one minute and five minute charts because we can play the, that single 17% if we use a uh, one minute chart. Let's see that too. 
right so this is where it is right so this is the area right so this area means here so if I check one minute but I'm not gonna actually sell it because I don't see any um, uh, reddish yellow bars up until here so this is the point where I'm gonna sell so this point at this point uh, from five minutes is at three dollars and seventy seven uh, cents you can see here right so this is the line um, so with one minute you can make the most out of the set um, all right I'm going back to five minute chart I'm gonna increase or uh, zoom in um, let's go ahead with the reply replay sorry um, all right after the one uh, green uh, red you see another yellow um, bar with the green can uh, green uh, greenish border uh, and then you get another greenish bar there all right at this point since you had like a bigger bar here compared to this closing reddish yellow bar I would buy at this point so here let's say I'm gonna buy here all right let's see what happened all right so so far I made 24% if I'm going to the top 24% yeah in 10 minutes uh, so still I'm not gonna sell or short sell this all right there's another one here so this is where I'm gonna sell okay so I made from here to here 21% and then let's see if I'm gonna short sell at this point again so let me put red here and let me put green there so you guys know buy at green and sell at red uh, all right all right nothing happened yet that needs to be for it all right so if I short sell how much money I have made so far 10% within 35 minutes let's go ahead if I see another green or yellowish bar then I would buy again uh, I don't see any news though for this stock so this is a stock that is growing up without any news so you have to worry about uh, playing this stock if you are a, a bull or are trying to hold this for long term then you should worry about it because it's going up without any news so you can uh, buy and sell using this kind of uh, algorithm software so let's move ahead again so far nothing indicates the buying point here so all short sales right moving up moving all right nothing no no significant stuff all right now i see for, for the first time there are two bars but first bar here is a little bit fluffier than the green uh, red bar here so now there's indication for a change of the face which went dragging along this line for a couple of hours right no actually one hour yeah so i'm being cautious here uh let's see all right there's a big puffy bar there but i still don't see any kind of yellowish bar for me to touch it all right there are three bars together 
from here to here so from here to here the change is 11 percent so you might be worrying thinking all right it's going up uh, it has been going up 11 percent i shouldn't jump in that's also a fair statement in many cases but pre-market previous high was 480 so you, you still have a chance to like touch that or at least um, at least the previous selling point right um, so when i see these things uh, if i'm a short seller i'm gonna like um, uh, i can sell at any point uh, oh i can make uh, turn the short selling into a profit at any point at these levels right you don't have to wait until you see this stuff but let's say you sell at the third point here from here to here it's around nine nine percent profit right I'll, all right for my sake i'm gonna buy here let's see Went down a little bit. Uh, that's another big pull there. Huh? It's going down. I'm actually losing money at this point, but I'm still gonna hold. the straight line so the stock is moving between 438 and 366 so my purchase was around 415 so right now it's uh, it's 399 still have a chance for me because I saw this momentum here so I'm gonna hold for a couple of minutes and to the point still six o'clock uh, in the morning so people are waking up ah, there there you go there are two bars which is green no yellowish color bar so i'm good with our sale all right that's the first yellowish bar now i'm getting uh, ready to sell that's the red bar i in this case i could sell and take the profit at this point seven uh, i mean seven um seven percent oh man i'm sorry actually this was the post post market yeah happening at 7 15 so it's this is still yesterday night right now this is where it started market open was around here right so market open today uh, for 20 dollars so i purchased this at 4 15, 14 all right so now it's another new game so i'm gonna hold i'm not gonna actually sell at this um, red bar because this is a new day let's move ahead and then see what's happening to the stock okay it's down a little that's a big green bar that's actually not Cool, but let's play along because the other two gave a good but at this point I also want to see what what is the volume so today um, when the market opened the volume picked up so the entire pre-market there was 10 million volume and the float of this stock is only 2 million and the outstanding shares is around 4.4 9 million so did because there's more volume 
in the pre-market and the stock float and the sh uh, outstanding shares is really low i'm gonna hold and see if i can get another uh, reddish yellow candle right so i bought it at here for 14 i'm gonna hold until i see that uh, reddish yellow candle okay no 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 i'm gonna hold still gonna hold still gonna hold oh man now there's the concerning one because you have a yellowish um sorry reddish yellow bar here and then the next one is totally um red so at this point i will cash out i'm not going to take any more risk here so my gain from here to here is 42 <coughs> percent um, on the previous day from here to here it is 24 and 40 uh, what did I say here yeah, it's gonna be 44 yeah so I made like 60 percent profit there um, moving forward let's see just I'm not gonna like um, do any short selling or anything because it's still open because the sh share volume is really low uh, sorry share float and the outstanding share volume is really low so and the momentum is speaking there is like a lot of shares um, trading in pre-market so i'm not going to do any trades now i took my profit i'm gonna i'm fi I'm fine with it um uh, let's go ahead and see what happened oh, there there you go the market opened at 9 30 so it went from 5 34 and now it's going down let's see what happened so i just shut down the replay now you see the stock kept on going down so i actually i i, I swear to you guys i didn't even check or memorize this stuff um, uh, you see and I'm not even coloring these things this is done by this stock uh, tool that I created here um, so I actually made the profit right I exit the right time if I want to see which is the rightest time then I'm gonna check this here this point with one minute chart uh, so where's the one minute Alright, so you see a couple of yellowish uh, things, but those are small compared to this. But this yellow one and this here, I'm gonna sell at this point. This is where I'm gonna sell. And in this case, I was saying here I buy 68, but here it's gonna buy 50 something. As soon as I see this red, bigger red thing than these previous ones, then I'm done. So there you go with CTIB. Let's check HHIT. Pre market open 72 cents, um, and then the last it closed at 84 cents. Float pre float is around 14 million and then share sound stand in 25 million um, what else all right so pre-market um, uh, volume is also 3 million not bad do we see any news in the morning mid-morning market update nothing there there's nothing either all right no information there so let's do some replays at four o'clock today 
Venice oh, 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 oh. Ah, there that's where it started seven two cents so this is where it opened 72 cents let's check what's gonna happen i see some of the other data crossing here so i will talk about those these lines later videos these are like uh, simple moving averages and um, moving averages and these crossings mean something and i will talk about them in a later video uh, i'm going to do like a breakout video uh, breakout stock video so i'm trying to pick every week uh, any stock that's going to break out in the future all right <clears throat> um let's say in the morning i got in at this here delete that and delete this all right so this is where i'm gonna buy in uh, let's move on and then replay oh there's a big jump there oh oh my god it's 22 percent up in pretty much in five minute chart right okay the next one also at 10 percent up next one i don't see anything all right so let's talk about this for a second so this bar the red bar is same size as the previous yellow bar right um so people are actually selling at this point and um, i would be cautious i want to see what will happen to the next bar here if it become red then i'm going to sell at this point but let's see if all right there you go. That's, that, that's the green. So I'm gonna hold still until I see a good um, size um, reddish yellow bar. All right, still holding. Oh, there is another big, big reddish bar, more than the previous bar here. So at this point, I am a little worried and and i have to take a decision at this point so um, since it is bigger than the previous yellow i'm going to sell here and wait and let's play it out oh the, oh that there you go the reddish um, yellow bar so that's a good point to sell so let's check the profit percentage 57 percent within one hour and 25 minutes um, um, let's go ahead if you are short selling this is a sweet spot to buy here when you see that uh, big red bar um, Alright, so the market open, it went down. And you also need to like understand you, uh, there's no first thing, there's no uh, news about this stock. And the two day, the entire day, SP500 and uh, other stocks are keep on going down. So this is actually a, a bad time to chase um, any gap up strategies. So I delete, uh, deactivated the replay so you can see it went down further more after I sell at that point. So there are another 10 more um, stocks to like show but I'm gonna stop here because you guys got the idea about today's uh, strategy with the algo. Oh, actually here there is a good one let's talk about it 
for a second um, all right so this hurts right so do we have any news in the morning hurts 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 what happened to a bankrupt stock of it get delisted now why hurts just are so you know refill oxygen current group no 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 any news right all right so you can see if i were a backhole at this point here this is where i'm gonna sell in the morning pre-market right uh, because there is the big uh, reddish uh, yellow bar and now now in this case you can do the gap up strategy because uh, you have a red a green bar another red small bar and a big red bar two greens uh, so the next coming bar needs to be bigger than this one so here here you go the biggest bar there and then you see the first yellow thing remember in uh, IPD and I talked about um, I'm only buying if there is another yellowish color after a uh, uh, reddish yellow bar so at this point if I were you I'm gonna buy here uh, let me close it out that's the buy and then i'm gonna hold until i see this big red thing so if i buy there let's say i sold at here within 25 minutes i made 15 percent right so that's pretty much it and i'm not gonna play it again and and there's another yellow right red, yellow one right why i'm not gonna buy it here because let's say let's go and uh, activate the replay and then replay would look like that right you have the yellow so why why i'm not bu bu buying there because i don't see a bigger yellow bar than the uh, previous three or four bars in this case you have a greenish bar here it's actually a good indicator a good solid indicator and then this bar here um, supports the big greenish bar here so that's why i brought it in the second attempt in here the previous one is a uh, green so i want to see the second one to turn out to be a green one then yes i would buy that point here if i'm for the plane the entire day so that's why i didn't buy i'm not recommending to purchase here and as it is it has went down right at the end of the day from here it has gone down 17 percent so there you go let's check a couple of other stocks based on the volume oh wow look at the ship 30 million before pre-market let's see i actually played this one and made 150 percent today hmm. let's give it a chance shall we oh i haven't talked about this uh, white color one so i'm not going to talk about it in this video um so uh, let's say you're a back holder from yesterday's close from here, right? So where am I gonna sell first time? You see there's a big yellow bar here and another one here and then there's big red. So at this point I'm gonna sell Here If I'm a back holder from yesterday's um, close I'm gonna sell that here so I still made 23 percent and the day wasn't actually a good day for the five minute chart so basically I also use one minute if I'm day trading it so if I check one minute 
you can see much better selling points so there's the big one you can sell at this here or you can sell it for sure at this place on one minute um, and then one minute again buying points this is another buying point and this is another buying point and here there's another sell point exactly at this point here so we had a chance to like double up and make money double all right another in the day we have another uh, whitish bars that means um, you can buy that point for sure and then you can sell at this point here so again this is another case here you have whitish bars there and then that's the big uh, dip so you want to sell there right make five percent this is good if you have like a lot of money to like trade trade uh, just keep on doing it for the day all right guys i think i spent so much explaining and showing this is my first video uh talking about my um one punch algo strategy uh one punch algo strategy is a software plugin that i created uh for this software this is a big company and i am a, a developer for that company uh, third party developer who is building uh, uh, trading softwares uh, trading plugins uh, sorry for my mumbling this is my first video guys so i need your support um give me some feedback uh, how i did today so it encouraged me to do better at the next uh, couple of videos and uh, i want you guys to like actually subscribe to my channel and give me some support and love uh, i will uh, uh, every week i will try to get uh, penny stocks uh, breakout points that are really really great um, breakout points uh, the penny stock so i did do some paper tradings and i have checked all these uh, again and again using a uh, lot of paper trading stuff and real money as well and uh, you can see all these uh, small percentages uh, of profit comes from uh, uh, breakout stocks so i know this are gonna break out soon so i will create those videos separately um, i will try to do a daily video about uh, pre-market recap so you guys can see where the, uh, where you should be selling these or where you should be um, buying or short selling stuff like that and um, i will also do some uh, screeners how to set up screeners in this software um, actually i'm gonna leave uh, the link to this software and then link to my software how to get my software it's actually uh, my software is actually free uh, and this company software is also free for a lot of users uh, free users um, so you guys can sign up for that um, and i will share you guys how i created the pre-market filter and then i do have a lot of other stuff like ema crossing up uh, pre-market 10 percent up and 5000 up volume um, and there are a lot of information I can share including like creating alerts on how whenever we see this kind of stuff and whenever we want to sell right all right thank you for uh, listening and I hope you guys have a great day tomorrow thank you